Welcome back to Elfman Gaming. Today we're looking at a game called Tor Eternum. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, I'm pretty sure I am. I'm going to pull up the Steam page here so you can see the spelling of it, because I know the name. It's a little unique, right? Tor Eternum. Scrolling down real quick. 10 player online co-op. Love that, because, you know, co-op games are usually limited to like 3 or 4. So it's nice to see something a little larger, right? 5 different classes, classes at launch and more to come. Building, character building, upgrades, unique gear, randomized stage bosses, all of that good stuff. And I've been playing it with members of my guild, and it is a blast. I'm telling you right now, don't let the graphics fool you. This game has a lot going for it, and I am really excited to share this. So, before we get started, I'm just going to tell you how this is going to go. We're going to play uh, a round of the game. I'm going to explain, I'm gonna, before we get in a, in a round, I'll show you all the... Uh, you know, unique features, building the character, all that stuff. We'll get into a round, play through that, and then at the end of the video, we'll do a pros, cons, and final thoughts portion of the video. So right before we get into this, into an actual round, I'm going to show you uh, the characters real quick. As if I want to go create a new character, there's a knight, which is obviously your tank, priestess, which is a healer, obviously, your rogue, which is damage, along with warlock, which is also damage. Spellcaster damage, melee damage. So there's your four classes available right now. There's supposed to be a fifth coming before launch, and then more classes after, as we read on the store page. So I'm a knight. I always play a tanky dude. Um, here we have our equipment. There's five equipment slots. Your weapon, your chest, your trinket, your amulet, which I don't have one equipped here. I could always buy one, and a ring. Uh, there's various buildings here that you can click, but they're also correspond with the item... Uh, the, not items, the uh, icons at the top, where you can just select um, them at the top rather than, selecting the, rather than selecting the buildings and just buy out the, uh, the stuff here. So I'm going to buy an amulet, buy one that's higher rank, bam. Purchase an amulet so we can fill that final slot. Now if I click this, you'll see this here. Bam, I'm going to click that, it's going to change my stats. So there's various stats you get on equipment, power, critical bonus, protection, all of that. Good stuff. Power obviously is going to increase. Um, look at that. This attribute increases damage, healing, maximum health. So power is like your more general stat. Then there's individual health, uh, energy, crit, mastery, and that's different per per class. This one uh, reduces the amount of block fatigue as a tank. Like the more I bo block, the more fatigue I gain, which is bad because then you know it'll shorten the time I can hold that block up. Stacking mastery will allow you to block longer. Protect all, all this awesome stuff. In addition to that, there's talents. These are all talent trees. If I choose reset, I'll get my talent points back. So there's five of them. And there's no cost to reset, which is kind of cool. I like that. So you can, you know, uh, mess around with it. Find out what works for your team. And it's definitely a big team-oriented game. It takes a lot of uh, customization and practice to, uh, you know, get the, get the right team and the right flow going. There was quite a lot of wipes we had before we realized we were playing on a higher level and uh, you'll see what i'm talking about when i click this wait uh one thing before i go talents i want to show you this too paragon talents unlocked at level 25 i'm not level 25 yet but i find that interesting too there's a whole other set of talents so a hell of a lot of progression gear talents you level new character but let's get started here i'm gonna click this here i'm gonna show you floors right you can see the floors here i have a bunch of level sevens and we started out at sevens that's what i started at and i was like wait a second because for some reason it defaulted to level seven or floor seven but you can buy different floors that you can go to for free up to level up to floor six then at seven there's a cost and it goes all the way up to 40 with it uh with an increasing cost and you can buy it but i'll buy a six right now right and when we go to this six when we complete it it'll go to seven when we complete a seven it'll go to eight so you don't have you don't have to buy the higher ones. You can, like, progress it. So I'm going to click a 7 and we'll try it. We have not completed a 7 yet. So this might be quite difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and open this game now. Oh, my God. There's a ton of people that we did not plan to play with. I don't know who all these people are. But uh, I have a game up. We'll see if our last dude joins. There he is. We're going to hit ready and keep kicking people until all of our team members are here. Sorry, random people. But if you ever want to join us in the game, there's 10 slots. So, we'll have more guildies, though, too. We'll probably fill the 10, because this game, when I share it with them, they'll probably love this thing. But I'm sure we can make spots for other people, too. If you're looking to join us, hit me up. Uh, here we go. Oh, by the way, I should have stated, this is a demo. 
This is a demo of the game. All right, so we're in here right now. We have two warlocks, two priests, and I am the lone tank. Go in here, break some little vials, get gold. Here's some gobos. That is so loud. If I hit a shield slam on all targets, it does uh, a lot of damage and it's very loud. We're running through this right now. Now, there is a timer at the bottom left. That green bar is actually a timer. If you don't finish in that time, you... Well, when it gets zero, you can't resurrect anymore when you die. Because if you die, you can resurrect by using that time to come back. And the faster you clear the dungeon, the more rewards you get. It's more rewarding. And you're using that time, thus reducing your rewards when you try to resurrect yourself. But if you go to zero and you die, you can't resurrect anymore. Your remaining team members need to finish the level and hopefully complete it. But if everyone dies, obviously it's, it's a failure and you've got to uh, restart it. But that's okay. Like, that's part of the game, too. You don't, like, lose anything on death. You just try it again and, and try to beat it this time. Or maybe go to a, uh, a floor that's not so... High, I guess you'd call it. Like high, high. Seven's high, six is lower, right? So go to six rather than seven if you fail, and then grind on something you can. You know, grind on levels you can to get experience, get more talents, more gold, buy items, get drops. You know, you know progression in games, same stuff. This supports ten players though, and the boss fights. Some of them get pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Like there, there's actual strategy to the boss fights, which is very nice. It's nice to see. So, sometimes we just rush bosses, but if we happen to find, you know, dead ends that have, you know, treasure chests, just loot them. You get a lot of gold that you take back with you, and we already saw what I used it on when I bought myself, a, what was it, an amulet or something like that? That I didn't have, so that's good. This is my uh, energy, which is just mana, I think they call it energy in the game, and health. You can see the regen rates of them. And I have, this class has uh, a block. So I can enable this block, you'll see like 77% damage reduction for holding the block up. But it lowers my mana regen, my energy regen, and it starts getting lower and lower. This red circle is going to activate the boss. Bam. So I'll put my block up, do some damage, I'll put some threat, and the boss will stay on me. There's, watch out for those red circles. And when I said their strategy to boss fights, I'm not kidding. You gotta watch out for his abilities and stuff, because they get, they get difficult. I'm sure there'll be something else he throws at us. And these are randomized levels and randomized abilities for the for the enemy. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a blue ball bouncing around. But you can see what the enemy abilities are going to be, the boss abilities, before you even get into the, uh, the level. Actually trying to stop those blue balls from bouncing around because I can absorb them, make them blow up on me, and not bounce around and hit the rest of the team. Healers keep me alive while I block. Warlocks are doing a fair amount of damage. We don't have a rogue on the team, but that's okay. Boss is about half health almost. It's like those balls are getting bigger, huh? Nobody likes blue balls, watch out! <laughs> so I can't hold block too long, too long, but you'll see my energy will start going down. My, uh, the rate at which it decreases. Wow, that one's going fast. Take a look at the energy bar that I have. You'll see it'll start kind of getting really high on the degen. Now it's negative. And... So I can't hold the shield block for too long, so I have to take it off and make sure to throw it on when I really, really need it. Like right now. Now I'm good now. So you're kind of toggling it on and off between the abilities coming at you, the blue wall and stuff, and these if you're worried about getting hit. So there's actually a fair bit of skill to tanking as well. You're kind of micromanaging your blocks. And then I got these little, um, 
range harpoon throw. I just threw it to the side so you can see it. I can kind of pull enemies that adds that spawn during the boss. Use that to kind of pull them towards me. Throw some threat at them. Bad. We got this dude. See those little shields up on him? It's taking a lot of reduced damage right now. I wonder if this is like a like a last stand type thing he's got up. I think those blue balls start doing more and more damage as they get larger. Wow, he's really taking like no damage. I wonder if there's a trick, like, do I pull him into the green thing on the ground or something? Yes, 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 yes. Haha. <laughs> See? Some strategy. So the reason the, I picked that up, because it was melting my armor. I was going to debuff called Melted Armor. I was like, oh, let's try it on him. And it worked. So he stopped taking one damage at the end, and he took, took a lot. I think I hit him for, like, 500 with the Shield Slam. So... Like I said, it's strategy. A lot of stuff to, to look out for, and it, it gets quite difficult. It gets very difficult. I don't know if I leveled from that. No, I didn't. But if I did, I'd have an additional talent point. Can spend that, and um, kind of mix and match. You know, you can take a talent point out here, put it in this tree if you want. I have three in here up to this. Better blocking and stuff. I could block longer. But that's that's that. That's the game. And I really enjoy it. I, I come from, from MMOs and stuff. This gives that MMO type of rating feel, you know, like, wow, and, you know, insert MMO here that has good rating with actual strategy and a, a large team. Ten players, that's that's pretty good. Five starting classes with more to come. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, the, the enemies, and the bosses, and the, and the dungeons are randomly generated. You'll see, like, the... The abilities they have so there's a hell of a lot of uh replayability in this game plus you know multiple classes like i said you could always play as different classes try to get them all up to a really high level and all that good stuff so that's the end of that we're gonna move on to the pros cons and the final thoughts portion of the video the pros cons and final thoughts of tori turnum 10 player co-op i already covered that but damn is that good it's hard to find especially in games that support 10 players where it's less of like a hectic like let's just throw 10 players in there and you're gonna just go for it it works it works large-scale games work we've done it we had like i don't know eight players i think we didn't quite meet meet 10 just yet but we will when i share this with the rest of the guild they'll want in this actual strategy to boss fights you guys saw it avoid that watch out for that I, as a tank i was blocking these things to try to stop them from bouncing around the room and hitting my weaker more fragile team members Love it! Massive character progression, talents, gear, enchants, a lot to work on, a lot to grind, and that's good. That's a lot of content. You know, I like doing that. I like shooting to be the strongest. There's that Paragon talent system, which I haven't even had a chance to even unlock yet. I'm super excited to see what that is. Good stuff. Uh, simple to start, but difficult to master. Definitely. When I first started, I was... Uh, it was hectic. It's hectic for multiple reasons. <laughs> Playing on floor seven to start, we were getting mopped. We were, we were just getting wrecked. And went down the floor one, started there, started actually progressing and saying, okay, uh, I noticed it definitely works better if I focus on blocks, works better for the team. You guys go for damage. They're focusing more on, you know, one guy removing debuffs, the other one healing more. 
works great in a team setup, working together. Love it! Tons of character customization, like I just mentioned. Um, you could play a tank character, but have him be more about damage if you want. You could change him to really a damage dealer, doing crazy cleave spam, like doing very big AoE cleaves that do a ton of damage with a, a double damage buff, rather than going for like, hey, you can shield block a ton. You have a lot more increased health. You regen health really fast while you block. Like, there's a ton of different ways to build a character. You can do a mix if you want. So, lots of stuff there for you to always be different from the from another person playing a tank, you know? We could be completely different. And then teamwork is a must, like I said. The party trinity is here! I love to see that in games. There's people like, oh, just has the typical trinity? I hate that. I love it! A trinity, if you guys don't know it, if you're not big in the MMO, that's tank, healer, damage, dealer. That rhymes, and I love it. Cons, not the best graphics out there, obviously, right? This will probably be um, something that immediately turns people off to the game. They're like, oh, I'm not playing it because the graphics look horrible. Um, I pity those people. That's a shame. That's a real shame that if uh, graphics that don't look the best instantly, like, I don't know, remove a game from your, from your, from your list, from your possibility of playing this thing because the graphics don't look the best. That's horrible. I, I I hate that. That's a shame. And I wish more people were willing to try games that don't have the best graphics in the world. There's some heavy gameplay in this. There's some great, great gameplay, great content, great progression in teamwork. There's a lot here to see. So it's a shame when that actually just removes people from the game. But it's a con, though. I understand it's a con. I would love it if it looked better, right? So that's why it's considered a con. If it looked better, that'd be great. But I'll take it. Uh, soundtrack is definitely lacking. Um, that is actually the audio you hear in the background right now. The soundtrack is definitely on the lacking side. I wish it was, wish it was better. Uh, I would love to see more variation of the levels because we go in there, everything feels the same. It always feels like a dungeon, like a damp, dark dungeon. But maybe that's intentional. Maybe that's what they're going for. I get it, but I wish it was like, I don't know. You go into one zone, it's like. It's different. It's maybe angelic almost, and the angels are trying to kill you. Everything's bright. Like, it's just different. Um, angels that don't like humans very much. They're trying to get rid of you guys, you know? Or just a, a demon type of river of flame from Diablo 2, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, you're going into hell, and there's lava on the left and right. You're walking through, like, the only path you can walk while you're surrounded by lava. Just big open field. Just think Diablo 2 zones. If you had, like, a variation like that, there's a frost uh, area in Act 5 of Diablo 2. Like, I would love to see a lot of that in here. Just a variation, and you can do it. And I get it. It's supposed to be, like, a tower. I understand that. But who's to say there ain't some crazy, like, weather effects in the tower and, and biomes? I think it'd be cool. And then, right now, I know it's a demo, but there's a few enemy models. Um... I just don't know if that's really going to be expanded upon for the release. I don't know. So I'm just going to comment on that here. It, it may. I mean, it may be planned. Who knows? It may have already be developed and created and they already have them done. Um, I just, but I'm just speaking about the demo, my experience in the game. There's not that many enemy models. Hoping for more. And my final thoughts. Tor Eternum is everything I look for in my favorite games. Challenging, tons of progression, and tons of friends. This is a game I'll spend a great deal of time playing and mastering. I look forward to, co to covering Tor Eternum again in the future and possibly even shooting for a dev interview. We had one dev interview on this channel this far and I really want to get some more. This is a game I would love to talk to the dev, pick his brain about, about the game and just, just overall his development, what kind of games he likes, you know? I I'd love to have a chance to, to do that maybe uh, in the future when he's not so busy developing the game and he finds some, some time in his schedule we can we could set something up. So guys, I hope you liked this first look at Tor Eternum. I love the game. My group's loving it. Hope you guys will too. And if you decide to pick up the game and you're, you're looking for a group to kind of to pal around with and, and and join us, please, please let me know. Uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed this first look. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subbing if you like this type of content. And share our content somewhere. If you can share it anywhere, a group of gamers, or throw it to another dev and say, hey, get this channel to cover your game. I would greatly appreciate it. That would really help us out and it would definitely keep me motivated to deliver more content in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Skip!